Hello everyone and welcome to another part of the C++ tutorial videos. In this video I'll be covering binary search trees, how to create them, and how to traverse them. So we'll do in order, pre-order, and post-order traversal of a binary search tree. So uh, first let's get started by including IO stream, just so that we can output stuff to the console. And let's create our main function. Okay, now that we have all that done, uh, next, we need to create a node for our tree that will represent a single node in that tree. And we will use a struct for this. So struct node. Um, and a node in a binary search tree has three values, well, three different variables. One being the value of that node. So that will be an int for us. Let's call it value. We need a right node and a left node. So let's make it a node pointer or node and another node pointer, which will be L node. Okay, now that we have our nodes, we can go ahead and get started on our functions to create the tree and traverse it. And the first function we're going to create is a function called add node. And add node will take a node pointer, which is the root, and an int, which will be our value that we need to add to that tree. So, um, we have our root here, we have our value. What we need to do is check if our value is more than or equal to the value of our root. So let's first check if it's, uh, if our value is more than the value of the root. So if val is more than the root value. So if the value is more, we have two options. If we have no node on the right node of that root, we need to create that node. If there is a node, we need to go down further in that tree. So first, let's, uh, let's do the case where there is no node there. So if root our node is equal to null, so if our right side node is null, we need to create a new node. So we'll say root our node is equal to a new node and the value of this new node that we just created so we'll say our our node value is going to be equal to our val so there is no node there we create our node and set its value to our value but what if there is a node there on the right side that would be our else so otherwise, if there is actually a value there, all you would need to do is recursively go, go down that tree. So we would say add node root, but instead of our just our root now, we know that we need to go down to the right node. So our root now will be our right node, and the value will stay the same. And this takes care of the value being more. Next up, let's do otherwise. So else. There we go. So if the value, same idea, if the root, uh, a left node is equal to null. So if we have no left node there, let's create a new node. And finally set its value to our val. And finally, the last part, which would be if there is one there. And if there is one there, same idea as the right node, we would just recursively go down. But instead of the right side, we would just go down the left side. So it would be L node and val. Okay, so this is pretty much it for, for our add node function. Um, next. As you can see here, you'll notice that we're creating a lot of news, so we need to use deletes to uh, clear this up. Otherwise, we're going to end up with memory leaks. So uh, let's do that. Let's create a function that can delete these memory cells. So let's do void clear tree. And this will take a node pointer. And let's call it root. So the main idea is to not delete 
our root right away because if we delete our root right away we won't be able to get to our left and right nodes so what we can do is recursively go down first the root right node to clear that first and then we clear our left tree second and then finally after everything is cleared we would delete our root and that's it it will recursively go down and delete every single node that we created using new okay so now that we have a way to add a node and clear a node the last thing that we need to do is to be able to traverse that tree and we'll just do an in order traversal first so that we can test our tree and make sure it works and then we'll do the pre-order and post order right after so let's do void in order and of course as usual this will take a node pointer which will be our root so in order the way in order works is it goes down the left tree first and then it outputs the root and then goes down to the right tree so what we will do is say in order but keep in mind that we need we can't go down a tree if it's equal to null so if the root left node is not equal to null go down that tree so we would say in order left node and then we would do std see out our value so it would be root value um, maybe we can add some spaces here just so that there we go just so that our numbers are not just clumped together so we have a space there and then finally same idea for the right node if the root and the right node is not null just keep going down that tree so root or node and this is pretty much it this is all you need to actually tra uh, traverse a binary search tree in order so uh, time to give it a try and see if it actually works node pointer root is going to be equal to a new node and let's make our root start with let's say 17 for example okay now we just need to add nodes to that tree so it would say add node uh, our root so let's give it the root and let's say we will add six and then we will add 23 for example there we go so we have now a tree we have two nodes added so we have three in total our root is 17 we have one that's six and one that's 23 uh, all the way at the end let's clear our tree just so that we don't have any memory leaks and finally right here we can do an in order traversal of that tree so let's do in order root and uh, yeah let's see what happens whoa uh, read access violation okay let's break right here um so clear node right node clear node left node and then oh we are not checking if the right node and the left node are null or not so if root right node is not equal to null clear the right and if root left node is not equal to null clear the left node and finally clear delete our root let's see if it has any issues with that there we go now that works uh, all we need to do is just keep that uh, console window on so let's just say std uh, cn dot get 
that's just to keep our console window open so that it doesn't get delayed. There we go. So we have 6, 17, 23. Everything is ordered. Um, let's try to add a few more nodes. So let's say uh, 5, 12, and 97. Let's see what happens now. So 5, 6, 12. Okay, so everything is in order. So it seems to be working pretty well. Um, now, as you can see, so this is for an in order. Doing pre-order and post-order is very simple. It's the exact same idea, but pre-order, uh, the root comes first, and then left node and then right node. So let's do void pre-order, and we will take std c out. root value oh we need our node pointer root value and then close that up next up if the root left node is not equal to null then pre-order so call recursively and pass in the roots left node. And then if the root R node is not equal to null, pre-order again, but this time go to the right node. And this would be it for a pre-order traversal. So um, let's try a pre-order. Traversal. Oh, pre order. There we go. Um, so for pre order, let's just let's just try it out and see if it, we're actually getting the right values. Okay, so <clears throat> so we're starting with seventeen. Um, seventeen. So we're adding six. So that would be right here. So we have a six right here. We're adding 23, which would be right here. And then five, which be less than, which would be less than this and less than the six. So we would end up right here. 12, which is less than this, but more than the six. So we would, it would end up here. Uh, and 97 finally. So that would be right there. Okay, so for our pre-order, we're going to the root. So, and then left and then right. So root is 17, and then we would go left. So it would be six, so that's right. And then five, and then 12. And then we end up going right, 23, and then 97. As you can see, this is the pre-order traversal and seems to be working. Finally, the post-order traversal. Node pointer root so that takes a root as well uh, so for a post order only difference is the value comes after the left and right node so let's do the same idea if the root l node is not equal to null then post order to the left side If the root R node is not equal to null, post order to the right side, so root R node, and finally std c out. What we need, so let's say root value. And this is it. So let's try our post order. Okay, so let's see here what's going on. Um, so for post order, it's first left. So we're gonna go left and left again. So there's a five. And then it's our right. So 12 and then six. So five, 12 and six. This seems to be working right correctly. And then we go to the right side of this, which would be this one, 
and then there are, to the left side there's nothing. So we go to the right side, so 97, so that's right, and then 23 and then 70. And there we go. So uh, pre-order, post-order, and in-order traversals of a binary search tree. This is how you create it. And I really hope this video helped out. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.